If you clicked this video, you've probably found yourself thinking about someone 24-7, doing everything you can to be close to them, and feeling like you can't live without them, or maybe been on the receiving end of this and are curious. Obsessive love can feel intense, overwhelming, and all-consuming. But what does psychology have to say about it? Here are seven fascinating facts that will make you think twice about this powerful emotion. Obsessive love looks like... Obsessive love is when someone becomes fixated on another person in an unhealthy way. It's more than just having a crush. It's an intense focus that can lead to harmful thoughts and behaviors. Some people refer to this as obsessive love disorder, old, but it's not officially recognized as a mental illness by most clinicians. However, describing these intense feelings and actions as obsessive love can be helpful as they often overlap with symptoms of other mental health issues such as insecure attachment, childhood attachment disorders, erotomania, and borderline personality disorder. How to spot obsessive love If you're wondering if you or someone you know might be experiencing obsessive love, here are some common signs. Constant thoughts You can't stop thinking about the person, no matter what. Needing constant contact You feel the need to be in touch with them all the time. Jealousy You feel possessive and jealous, even without a reason. Controlling You might try to control their actions or thoughts. Worrying about safety you're overly concerned about their safety to the point of obsession. Ignoring boundaries. You might overstep personal boundaries or disregard their privacy. Sensitivity to rejection. Any negative feedback or lack of attention feels devastating. Difficulty with rejection. It's hard to accept when they say no or don't return your feelings. Monitoring behavior. You keep tabs on their whereabouts, communications or actions. Invading space. You might invade their personal space, physically or emotionally. Love and other drugs. When you're obsessively in love, your brain is actually undergoing chemical changes. According to the experts at Medical News Today, the same brain regions that light up during addiction also activate when you're deeply infatuated. Feel-good hormones like dopamine and serotonin spike, making you feel euphoric when you think about or see your love interest. But so does your cortisol, the stress hormone, at the slightest worry, like if they don't text you back right away. This chemical cocktail is why obsessive love can feel so exhilarating and so hard to let go of. You can't help but chase the high and avoid the lows of obsessive love. It's not just about the person. Obsessive love isn't always about the person you're obsessed with. Sometimes it's more about what they symbolize in your life. They might represent a sense of security, happiness, or even an escape from your own problems. For example, if you're feeling lost or lonely, you might latch onto someone else who seems to have everything you want, believing they can fill the void in your life. But in reality, no one person can solve all your problems. By reflecting on why you're so fixated on them, you can uncover deeper issues and start working on them. Self-esteem plays a role. People with low self-esteem often struggle with feeling unworthy of love which can make them more prone to obsessive love. They might constantly seek validation from their partner, trying to prove to themselves that they are lovable. This need for constant reassurance can turn into an unhealthy fixation, where their entire self-worth hinges on the other person's approval. It's a tough cycle because the more they depend on someone else for validation, the less confident they feel in their own worth. Attachment styles matter. Did you know that the way you attach to people can be traced back to your childhood? According to a study by Hanari and Seremi, people with what's called an ambivalent insecure attachment style are more likely to experience obsessive love. So what does this mean? If you have this attachment style, you might rely heavily on others because of inconsistent care during childhood. This can make you worry a lot about whether your relationships are secure. Leading to clingy or possessive behavior, you might have a hard time being alone and often look for constant reassurance from your partner. This can show up as being overly affectionate in public or feeling jealous and suspicious easily. Remember, understanding your attachment style can help you learn how to build healthier relationships. It's all about recognizing patterns and making choices that help you grow and feel secure. Rejection makes the heart grow fonder. People with obsessive love might believe there's a special connection with the person they're fixated on, even if that person doesn't feel the same way or doesn't even know they exist. According to a study by Dr. Lucinda Mitchell, this can happen even after clear rejection or multiple instances of infidelity, making it hard to move on. 
Healing is possible. If you're struggling with obsessive love, know that healing is possible. Therapy can help you understand your emotions, develop healthier relationship patterns, and improve your self-esteem. Journaling, mindfulness, and self-care are also powerful tools for managing intense feelings and finding balance. Obsessive love can be a sign of a serious mental health issue, and if left untreated, it can harm friendships and relationships. In extreme cases, it could even lead to legal trouble or violence due to jealousy or overly controlling behaviors like stalking. The good news is that understanding the psychology behind obsessive love can empower you to make healthier choices in your relationships. By learning about yourself and your emotions, you can create a life filled with fun, learning and healing. So take a deep breath, reflect on these insights and know that you have the power to build the loving relationships you deserve. Did you find this video helpful? What are your thoughts on obsessive love? Share them with us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Psych2Go for more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.